All right, so we got thousands of bees in here. Um, they're cleaning up this honey, but you guys never seen this before. Hey, what's up guys? Before I get this video started, I want to give a big shout out to um, a little company here in Oklahoma. It's called Primitive Elegance. And what they do is they make jewelry out of deer bone. I guarantee you've never seen nothing like this. This is awesome. You know what? They make necklaces and all that. I said, if you want to send the girls um, some, some of your awesome necklaces, that'd be, aw that would be great. I'll take a look at it. And if it's what I think it is, I'm gonna show you all. And it is, it is awesome. It's amazing. Um, these things are pretty pri priced pretty well too for what they are. I'm gonna pull them out, show you. They come in this little cool carp thing. I'm gonna show them to you real quick. And then I'm gonna tell you guys um, about their website that, uh, and all that real quick. Hold on a second. What's up, girls? You guys been liking your necklaces? Yeah. All right, show them who's is whose. Isn't that cool? They come in these little carved uh, little things. That's awesome. They've been wearing these to church. That's a little cross made of deer bone. And Hope's is a little, little one, too. I got to put it back on the chain, but that is awesome. I have a deer antler right there. Get the little cross on it, it's so cool. And Hadley, Hadley loves serves. it's a little feather. It's just amazing to me that they can make this stuff out of deer bones. The detail too is amazing. And look at, and they carve that out, it fits right in there. Just really, really cool. And you girls like them? Yeah. Huh, Hobie? <laughs> okay, so if you, guys, if you guys like this, go check out their website. It's um, primitiveelegance.com. Let me see the little card right here. I'm telling you, these girls love these. They've worn them to church two weekends in a row, and they love it. Go check out Primitive Elegance. You can see it right there. Um, and I'll put some links down in the description below. If you put the, I'm not getting paid to do any of this. They just sent this stuff to us. So if you like it, if you want to, uh, if you want to support us, that'd be awesome. We're, we're Oklahoma, a small business in Oklahoma, and I love supporting my fellow Okies. And that's what I'm doing right here. So go check them out. PrimitiveElegance.com. If you type in the uh, the code Dutch, I think you get ten. I think ten percent off anything you buy, and they got tons of stuff, a bunch of cool necklaces and uh, earrings and rings and stuff like that. So if you're into that, I'm telling you, you ain't seen nothing like this before. Um, I went and clicked on the website. I was amazed. I was blown away. So thank you so much for sending this to me. Um, it is awesome. Let's see here. www.primitiveelegance.com. Um, they got an Etsy shop and all that. Um, so you can go check them out on Facebook too, Prim of Elegance in Hughes County, Oklahoma. <laughs> hey, you're in for a treat today. I'm going to show you all getting a couple frames of honey. I've already harvested some as far as getting the frames out, but then I'm going to go over to my buddy's house and we're going to put these frames inside his little honey extractor. I'm going to bring you guys along, along for that. And then me and the girls and Brandy are going to put some in some jars and in some uh, little bear things I got. Um, I think you guys are really going to enjoy this video. I'm not going to show you a whole lot of the bees right now, just real quick. And then we're going to go over to Taylor's house and we're going to get some honey out. Hope you guys enjoy the video. We've already got this cap in about two days. I robbed from this one the other day. They are busy, busy. Try not to bore you guys too much with this. I want to get down to harvesting the honey because the honey harvest is my, the most exciting thing for me. I don't mind working the bees like this, but I like getting the reward of the honey more than anything. It's awesome. I'll tell you one person that's helped me out over the years on these bees is Okie Rob. If you guys are not familiar with Okie Rob, he's from Oklahoma, hence Okie Rob. He's had a YouTube channel for a long time and he does a lot of bees. So if you're interested in bees and gardening, stuff like that, go check out Okie Rob. He actually brought this up. I still use this. I'll leave this out here because uh, I was using a knife one time. He came up and helped me with the bees and brought this to me. Thanks, Okie Rob. So I'm going to get in here and we can see what we got. Hopefully I can get a couple more frames and I'll be satisfied. Right now, because it's so warm out, 
Oh, check it out. This is one I just pulled, Taylor. Let's work on this first. It ain't, it ain't full, but it's it's ready. You know what I mean? They're still kind of working this on it. This is what I consider a wacky comb, and this is also. You got these from Atwoods, didn't you? I think I got that one from you. Did you? Okay, well I got it from Atwoods. <laughs> well, see this down here? They didn't draw any wax on here. That's because when the manufacturer made this, they didn't get they a good wax coat on it. Yeah. So, I, I hate that. Yeah, it drives me, ins drives me insane when they do that. <laughs> hey, but we're still getting oh, some honey. Look, we're getting it. a bee. <laughs> we may end up locking this up if his bees find it. They'll rob this honey blind. This is pretty simple. We'll do a quick walk through real quick. Well, he's just gonna uncap them. I've got an uncapping roller. You can take and use a hot knife and you can melt this off, but this right here saves the wax. Probably the best I found, so. This is like really satisfying too when you guys see this honey coming out. You may not see as much with that, but when you uncap it with the knife, man, I love watching that honey just yeah. go down. Yeah, even spooning it with the spoon. Yes. That's usually what I do with the wooden, the wooden little thing. I just scrape it down. So this is just going through poking holes in the tops of every one of these cap cells. Quick that spin. I don't know if you can see all that honey down there. Yeah, awesome. It's got an on-off kill switch right here. I'll hold it in. These are trying to rob me. We gotta close this van up, guys. You can see, I don't know if you can see them on camera, but there's a bunch of them coming in here. Yeah, there's some right here. See them all right there? So we're gonna close this up so they'll quit stealing all my honey. Okay, we got about five, six frames um, about done, and we're gonna open this little valve up down here and show you the most satisfying thing ever is when you see honey coming out of the bottom of that. I'm telling you, before I got bees, I, and you probably did the same thing, watch all these YouTube videos and I'm capping, yeah. draining them. It's just so satisfying. I was like, I gotta do this. What do you think, Taylor? You look forward to it. When yeah. You, like start beekeeping. Like this is as This a bee, is what you look forward as to. As a right beekeeper, here. this is the most satisfying part. It's awesome. So we're gonna show you guys open this valve up and strain it into that bucket. It's gonna be awesome. I'm about to make an Instagram post too. Keeping it back to two H's if you guys want to check out Instagram. Oh look at that. Looky there. That's awesome. I always use the triple strain method too. I got a paint strainer. And this is a double strainer because you will get bees will come in here they'll get in your honey uh flies are a nuisance well, you can see a fly right there so you want to strain everything out of it but the good stuff you want the pollen in there because the pollen's what's good for you hey i'm going to see if i can zoom in on this really good well we can, we can wait because when we're done taylor how much honey do you think we're going to get out of these 17 frames you will get a five gallon bucket it'll be close to a five gallon bucket it's awesome now Taylor's letting me borrow this bucket. I gotta give it back, but he said the only way you're gonna get to borrow that Dutch is if I get to 4,000 subscribers. So go check out <laughs> Pure Live for Outdoors. Give him to 4,000 so I can borrow this bucket. Yeah, or else I'm keeping the honey. Or is he keep all the honey? Look at that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Taylor, what you got there, buddy? Well, this is probably the best frame of honey that you have. It's heavy too, isn't it? This thing right here. Probably weighs at least, oh, I don't know. Hard to say, 20, probably 15 pounds. Yeah, I can't wait, that's awesome. You got a little bit of volume on here. We about got this wrapped up, we got. Nice Try this for the camera. Really good. Got a little bit here too. Pretty good, ain't it? Nothing better than doing the, um, yeah, yeah. with the wax. I love the honeycomb. It kind of chew on it a little bit. Mm. Like candy. He went in there, he went in there getting knives. It's just so uneven for that roller. This thing is just full of honey. This is awesome. Like I said, this is the most honey I've ever got. I'm pretty excited about it. People from church are really gonna like me uh, next week whenever I'm passing out free honey to everybody. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, do we got a problem, guys? We our, do have a problem. Our bucket's over full of honey. Houston, we got a problem. <laughs> Look at that. Now that's about to overflow, and then plus we got, what, you got a gallon in there? I don't know. There's at least a half gallon. Half a there. gallon in there. So what we're going to do, Taylor, we're going to give you some of some jars. How do you like that? <laughs> we'll save it for you. <laughs> You'll eat it. All right, we gotta get off there. Kay Caitlin, thanks for all the help. We really appreciate it. <laughs> no, she made dinner for everybody in there, so that's awesome. Taylor, just so people are gonna ask me if you kept any honey. Did you get to keep any honey? I did, I did keep two pints. All right, so don't, you all don't beat me up in the comment section. You know how they are. <laughs> how come you didn't give Taylor and Caitlin any honey? <laughs> oh, we did get honey. But check this out. That's clean. Them bees are gonna, them bees are gonna finish that off. Ended up getting a whole five gallon bucket of honey plus isn't that crazy? I never thought. I would have. Hey, thanks for your help, man. I never would have thought it. I didn't think we'd get that much honey. It's crazy, isn't it? Thank you. No, you're welcome. Caitlin, thanks for putting up with us for about two hours. You're good. <laughs> oh, I'm back out here at the bees. I'm gonna hook them up with some uh, some of this honey that's left over. And the thing is, a lot of it, a lot of honey got inside my van, inside the old old stealth camper van. And uh, I'm just gonna leave this open right here behind, right in front of the hives and let them clean out my van. So maybe we can come back out here and we can get a shot of a bunch of bees. I don't know, we're getting ready to go to the creek for a little bit. So hopefully they'll have it cleaned up uh, pretty quick. Um, but let's put some of the, I'm gonna put some of these frames back in here. I won't show you that, but then I'll show, I'll show you putting it on top of there and all that. All right, so we got thousands of bees in here. Um, they're cleaning up this honey, but you guys never seen this before. I bet you never seen anyone open up their van to allow all the bees to go in here. You guys can see it's like a swarm right here. I'll try to zoom in on some of these bees. They're going crazy in there. I'm hoping they got most of it cleaned up because I need to lock it up for the night, but I'm not gonna lock it up and get in there with all them bees. Check this out. Oh, they have cleaned up big time. They're everywhere in here. This is awesome. They done exactly what I wanted to do. I don't know if I showed any footage of all the honeys going down in there, but they have cleaned this up perfect, just what I wanted. Look at all these bees. I usually don't walk around here with no uh, bee suit on, but they're not worried about me. They're collecting all this honey right now. I put those boxes up there. I actually put some of the some of the smaller ones. Oh, that box ain't closed. Well, I'm probably gonna get stung now. Let me close that. There we go. We'll get back a little bit. You can see, look at all the bees. These are my two splits. There's a bunch of them. They got plenty of room to build up, but they're, it's just so hot they're hanging out outside. There's a crazy amount of bees in there. This is just, this is just honey all through here. They had cleaned it up. I guarantee there was probably 100,000 bees in here at one time um, before they cleaned it all. They made quick work of that. It's amazing just how quick that they cleaned some honey up. Look, see that little honey right there? They'll clean that up, no problem. There's probably a lot of honey there, look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and drive it. Take up to the house and I'll leave that back catch open to come finish cleaning this up. I'm gonna go ahead, I, it's getting dark on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this back up to the house. Hopefully I don't get stung by all the bees. I got, sh I got shorts on and uh, we'll see We'll see what happens. I'll take it back up to the house, I'll park it and uh, I'll leave the back catch open. They can finish cleaning this up, but they did exactly what I wanted them to do. All that honey had spilt um, inside the little, inside the van and um, they cleaned it up just like I wanted to. You can see I put it right next to, I put it right next to the hives. Guarantee you've never seen one do that. <laughs> Look at that. I got five hives. 
So I got all that honey out three hives. Actually, two. I got maybe one, one, one thing of honey out of that third one. So basically, just two hives. I got over five gallons of honey. Um, we'll take this back up to the house, and I'll show the girls. And me and the girls and Brandy are going to put some in jars and show you guys. Okay, I'm back home. Me and Hadley are going to fill up some of these little bare squeezable jars. I will show you that, and then I'll end the video. Mm -hmm.